amazing women in science. There's a lot of you here. No, it looks a little bit complicated, but this is actually a dramatically simplified version of what the cell membrane looks like. Um, I am. MP for Newcastle Central and the Shadow Minister in the Cabinet Office, so that does make me a politician. Um, but first and foremost, I am an engineer. Hello, and I am actually not a science communicator, I am a science translator. I mean, let's face it, geology really is the only science that you could be standing on a street corner having a totally serious discussion with someone about thrust zones, good quality cleavage, and coming tonight. <laughs> you know? Uh, I did a show at the Edinburgh Fringe last year called Helen Arnie, Voice of an Angle. So you'll, you'll, get, that, you'll get that that's a maths joke, right? If you came to the show, the whole thing would have given you a large hadron. Darling, it's our wedding anniversary next week. My gift for you is carefully chosen. It's perfect for the couple who have everything. I'm getting us both cryogenically frozen. Yeah. We need to be shamelessly demonstrating our passions. Not because it's surprising or quirky or as a reaction to anything, but absolutely independently of our ideas about women. We should be allowing ourselves to do these things just because they're fun. So this is pitch down here. And you'll hear somebody coming down the line who's saying something a little bit odd. With the Army's popular Chief of Staff, Jack Twat, taking over. A 40-foot sperm whale which was stranded in the Firth of Forth for more than four days is now thought to be swimming towards open waters again. It freed itself late last night. Marine experts are hoping to establish this morning whether the whale is fully back at sea. And if you listen really carefully, and I've made spectrograms of this, someone who's in the studio with Charlotte Green leans in and goes, Jack, twat. At her. 